Hello everyone, just Charlie here from Sterling Power. Just here to introduce the new Hardy range of portable power supplies. So this is the H3500P model. The P being a bit more performance in the sense of it's got a larger battery capacity than the other one. This particular one has a 300 amp hour 12 volt lithium ion phosphate battery. So that's about four kilowatt hours. Uh, the other one we've got is just the H3500 without the P and that's got 150 amp hour, so about a two kilowatt hour lithium battery uh, built into it, so it's down here in, in, the, in the behind the white metal box internally. And the other bits we've got on here are three AC outlets, so you can pull the three and a half kilowatts out of uh, the respective AC sockets. We've got three sets of USB-C and USB-A connectors uh, for charging up phones and tablets, two standard 12 volt cigarette sockets and an angle socket that leads on to the fridge, little 12 volt fridge there. We're currently drawing about three and a half kilowatts you can see here because I've got a fan heater running and we've got a, a Variac running and we've got the little fridge running. Uh, round the side here you can see 175 amp Anderson socket feed in or out so that will work in both directions it's fused at around 180 amps the little 250 amp Anderson sockets again fused at around 50 amps each and then the blue and the yellow the blue is for the 30 amp DC DC charger that's built in and the yellow is for the 700 watt uh, solar charge controller up to 90 volts that's built in the little terminal around here is the ignition feed for the 30 amp onboard DC DC charger. So, the main use of the Hardy is, of course, for energy storage. Getting energy in and out of the of the Hardy is sort of the main crux. So that's what I'm going to sort of show you here. So you can see we're drawing at the moment three and a half kilowatts of load. Um, if I just turn that uh, load off now, so I've killed the uh, all the AC, so the inverters effectively switched off. We are now just drawing about 38 watts and that's just to run that 12 volt fridge just there. If I connect the solar in, which is connected up to 200 watts of solar panel. Let's just connect that in there. <clears throat> Let's see what that climbs up to. Give it a couple of seconds. So that's just raw 28 volt from the solar regulator, from straight from the solar panel, sorry, going straight into the um, straight into the side of the hardy so let's see what it kicks in at quite a nice day so we are charging up at around a net of 140 but of course don't forget the fridge is using about 40 so yeah now what we can also add to that is the 30 amp 12 12 volt feed straight off the start battery you don't need any current limiting device that can just go straight onto the 12 volt start battery the 30 amp DC DC charger is built into the box so let's see what that climbs up to so we've got up to 40 plus amps now so that's a combination of both 30 amp onboard DC DC charger and a 200 watts of solar panel running um, partly the fridge obviously that uses a few amps and the rest of it's charging up the battery now if we wanted to supercharge it we've also got a separate this red box here is our Sterling uh, BB12-120. So let's plug that directly in. It's on the end of an Anderson socket. Plonk. And let's see what that then sh shoots up to. So that's just climbed straight up to 147 amps. So that's the versatility of this thing. You can charge it up at a phenomenally quick rate. So the battery state of charge is 79% and it looks like it'll be fully charged at that rate in around 25 minutes. Other little things to note are, you've got a wireless charging pad on the top, but also you can expand, you can effectively wire multiple Hardys together using a nice chunky cable like that, so I could have another Hardy next to it, another Hardy after that. Or you can just un unplug that big uh, Anderson and then plug in, just got a little baby 60 amp hour battery just there. If I plug that straight in here, we've now increased the capacity of the battery by about 60 amp hours. So you can go into the settings here and adjust to 
360 amp hours if you'd like that will give a slightly better guesstimation if you do adjust it internally but um, effectively you've increased the capacity there so any charging or any discharging going into the hardy will trickle through this cable back into the 60 amp hour battery that's supplementary um, so yeah i think that's i think that's all maybe other little things to note the there's little feet down here so uh, it comes with little l-shaped plates that you can bolt and fasten this to the floor it also comes and that's on the same on the other side as well the hardy also comes with an accessories pack which includes jump start cables that you would plug into the anderson socket here it comes with a mains 40 amp battery charger so you can plug it into a 230 volt feed uh, we provide all the complementary anderson sockets so uh, you don't need to go fishing around for the particular colors of sockets because they are they have their own little fingerprint so you do need a blue to fit into a blue and a yellow to fit into a yellow so yeah these are available now so um yeah i'll, I'll provide the link in the description but uh yeah it just gives you an idea of the uh the hardy in general all right